Okay, everyone, welcome back to Metro Exodus. Let's see if we can get out of this place in Yamatao. Wait. What the hell? Oh. There we go. Clean house. Perfect. Nice. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay. Stuff here, good. <clears throat> Collect everything, just hope it goes towards the Aurora. Oh, got some ammo. Cool. I don't like this. I get a bad feeling about this. Yeah, it looks like some kind of checkpoint. <clears throat> oh well. The show must go on, they say. Oh. Okay, we're going that way. Oh my god. Well, that was close. <clears throat> 20 ammo, nice. God, this shit is intense. <laughs> oh, 40. <laughs> happy to restock. Very, very happy. back in fighting order. Wait, was that something? Oh, that was just the light. Okay, no worries. Oh, wow. Got some extra ammo. Even better from both of them. Fantastic. What about these degenerate lunatics? Nothing from them yet. That's okay. Oh, you're kidding me. <clears throat> wow, that's a heavy... Now, I think he said... Uh, Tokarev said he saved the guns. Okay. Never mind.
Okay, not bad. Anything else we can kill? Oh my good god. Oh. Diary number one. It's been a month already since we became rats in a hole here. What do we have to show for that? We don't even know if there's anyone still alive out there. All the antennas were destroyed. And the radiation levels are so high there's no way to fix them. Though, even if the antennas were okay, would anyone even... Did anyone have any reason to contact us? The bigwigs never arrived, after all. It looks like construction workers are right, though. We'd better get ourselves com comfortable here, to comfortable here, as we're here for a long run. Those idiots with the council there, with that council of theirs. I'd forgive the workers if they came up with bullshit like that. But why would the officers want to play those games? Just to be able to push the blame onto the government decree when they when they cut the rations in. How is that supposed to help? If there were simply no food reserves, no matter if there were simply if there simply are no f food reserves, no matter what, lunacy. The doctor was right. We, the radio technicians, are here for a reason. We will not just save our comrades; we'll also help thousands of survivors outside. The only thing we need to do is fix the antenna. Let the real government know we're alive. They will send us food shipments. And then the ARC project will provide a shelter from radiation for all survivors. What could be more important now? So, I'm guessing this is probably turned to lunacy. Everyone's turned to a lunatic and gone completely crazy only because no help ever came. So, they made their own dictatorship, their own rules, their own way. Uh okay, that's starting to make a bit of sense. I mean, it's gruesome, but it's actually making sense. No, don't need that. Anything in here? Nope. Let's take off the binoculars just for the moment. Because then I can just search with the flashlight. Actually, I then I need to take off, put red laser back on. I'm not going to using. Alright. See what happens. <coughs> what the hell is going on here? Oh my god. Look at all the bodies. What? <coughs> oh, is that who? Anna! <laughs> Oh, you're okay. Thank God. Whoa! Help us, Anna, if you don't mind, please. Just like the others. So just don't kill me. Remember what I No, you deserve to die. Sorry, dude, but if you're gonna start cutting up people as cannibals, you don't deserve to live. Yeah, we're all right for the moment. Let's report to the colonel. I'll search around here while you do that. Dad, it's me. All right. Is 
take your time, Arno. Good. Holy shit, look at all the bodies. What? Oh my god. This whole situation that's a though, bloodbath. I thought we wouldn't see anything Literally. worse than that cult on the Volga. And that's Silentius with his damn fanatics. Oh, a book. <coughs> uh, second, Dara 2. Nothing can be done. They are five days at most. At least Doc says he can give them something for the pain. Who could have known they'd go up there to fix the antennas? Boys, should have told me. Should have at least worn the suits. It's up. I've just sent them the... I've just sent the first message. Made it. The boys are still alive. Alois Shah even smiled when I told him. What? Please tell me that's another Alois Shah. Otherwise, we've got a traitor in our midst. Wow. At least now they'll know they didn't die in vain. Good God. So, I get the radio online and they remove me immediately. I can't even get any news. They say it's all secret. Put guards at the door too. The bastards. And it struck me from, from the special rations distribution list. Way to reward honest effort. This is terrible. How do the others survive all this time? It's only been two weeks, and already I can think of an can't think of anything but food. The others had been getting the same rations for months. Two more weeks. The legs are getting swollen. The workers told me I drink too much. I've no energy to move. Even writing feels like hard work now. Apathy. At least the hunger's a little blunted, blunted now. They're all here. They've heard us and came. Yes, they're just refugees, but they're here. They'll all get the supplies. It's not too late. Everything will be fine now. Of course, the refugees are quarantined for now, but soon I'll be able to ask them about everything. I heard the quarantine will last longer than we, th than we thought. They brought some bulk with them. They also brought rations, though. We've been given meat broth for now. We couldn't stomach anything heavier anyways. What a great feeling though. The whole body feels warm and the taste unforgettable. I don't get this. A second group of refugees. They also they also brought supplies, but it's just meat, no grains or anything. And they've all quarant and they're all quarantined too. While the last group has been there for over a month now. Haven't been told a thing about the situation in the country or the government. Why? I must have a frank conversation with Doc. He'll oblige for the old friendship's sake. <coughs> Excuse me. I truly hope that, where is it? That is not the Aloysia that's con that we consider a friend. If it is, we have a traitor in our midst. I'm not going to keep a close eye on Aloysia if I can gonna have to wow that's game changing oh, it appears there was still space for growth we could have got killed there we almost got eaten here that bastard unbelievable to think he used to be a doctor yeah no kidding don't matter we'll see what happens now we did survive him after all exactly just <laughs> Luckily, we're all good shooters. <laughs> well. Actually, what I might just do is... Uh, where are we? Is that the... No, that's not the right one. It's... No wireless... Sensitivity... Aim... Um... No. I'm trying to look for something that gives a bit of a free, a bit of freelance movement in the weapon, like in other like COD games and Battlefield games. Whoa! Well, I suppose it just tried to kill 
his daughter, so I suppose I can't blame him to one extent. Oh wow. It's Caspian One, a comm center. There's one more just like that in the Sidiers. Father Bunker now. We have to make the decision. Look. Possible active areas. Did you get everything you could, idiot? We're leaving. One moment. I'll finish breaking everything here. Come on, come on. Okay, all done. All right, let's get the hell out of here. It all worked out this time, didn't it? It worked out. It really did. My concern is what if next time it doesn't? She does have a point there. But do you intend to leave forever? <laughs> of course not. All the more reason to strive and spend more time with what is allotted to me. With that guy over there. Hey, that's Artyo. Double checking. So, guys, I got the rear. It's gonna get real. Wow. Oh. Uh, Officer's Diary 3. Unbelievable, hideous, inconceivable monsters. So this is why nobody's been released from their quarantine. And the fucker has the gall to offer me an officer so to, to join the ranks again. So, first they throw me out and now they want me back. And they're not afraid, not in the slightest. This means everything's gone... Everything's over up, over up there. I don't even need to check the radio. There is no government, no law, and no country. Still, does that give them the right to butcher and eat people? It didn't take much for them to become ghouls. Well, just you wait. I'll teach you fear again. I still have my gun, luckily. Just you wait. I'll show you how the solution to the su supplies problem. You hellspawn. Wow. That's dramatic, but completely fair. Well, that was terrible loading, wasn't it? Watch out, people! Oh, good God! Whoa! Holy crap! This is getting real, right? A couple of Molotovs. 
Oh, thank God for that. Looks like this place is completely over. Time to go find the real government bunker, I guess. Really? No kidding. Wow. So that was chaotic, to say the least. Oh, to think I believed those pricks from Hansa. I believed that Moscow was controlled by the HQ. That we were under occupation. That we were still in war. That there were generals here giving orders. What an idiot, Suka. You're just trying to follow what hope you had. To that wrench, I can't blame you, but you should have listened to reason when you were told it. I will repeat my question. What do we do now? Could we go back to Moscow? Tell them the truth about the war. The government. They'll shoot us on approach. And even if we do break through, what can we do against Hansa? Would believe us with no proof. <laughs> what about going back to Volga? Very good point. We could live there. Uh, what do we do about the locals? They weren't exactly happy to see us there. Do we kill them all? Is anybody here up for that? Back in Moscow, not really. Artyom had been dreaming of finding a habitable place and building a colony there. Isn't it time we got to it? The idea is good, but how do we find the place? Just keep traveling. The Aurora needs an overhaul. <coughs> What do we do if it breaks down? Yeah, that is satellites. What? What satellites? You want to leave the fucking planet? <laughs> There's a satellite communication center on the Caspian Sea. Oh, it survived the war. Oh, and if we gain access to the data collected by the satellites, we won't have to travel randomly. <coughs> Radiation level maps, even your regular satellite photos, could really help us out here. Oh, nice idea. I'm liking That's it. An idea. Yes. There is something worse than cannibals there. I seriously doubt that. Well, could well be. But first, we're going to be really careful this time. And second, does anyone have any better ideas? <laughs> I don't. Well, I guess we've got ourselves a new plan. They sure as hell do. Shall we look for that place you wanted? <clears throat> Sound the horn then. Hell yes. Spoiled dinner. <laughs> Wow. Three months on the road. Three months of constant... After Yamantau, we are ready for anything fate can throw at us. Mere kilometers separate us from the Caspian One communication center. Will the maps within yield a spot free from radiation where we could finally settle in peace? I don't know. But what's left for us but hope? The desert is taking its toll. The crew suffers from heat and thirst, and the Aurora is not in her top form. We're out of coal and had to switch to burning available fuel. Old cross ties and twigs. Damn, that's getting desperate. Huh. I mean, at least they're still together. That's the one good thing about that, but... <coughs> other than that... That's, in terms of, like, a supply situation and all that, that is definitely borderlining desperate, I mean. Although, there's not endless supply of coal, unless you were to just go and start, um, well, even then, there's, you don't, they don't have the facilities to um, make uh, um, radiable charcoal. I mean, to ready charcoal, did they just don't have the facilities? Um, they had a longer train; they might be able to. But even then, they contain the fire. Oh, actually, that makes me think. What about food and water? Oh my! That music has the um, sort of "We're free, but we're nowhere near out of the woods yet." That's what the music reminds me of. <clears throat> Let's get into the Caspian then. 
3,901. Wow, almost 4,000 Ks. She doesn't look too relaxed, if I'm honest. You alright, Anna? I'm not in love with this place. Nothing but sand and heat. I feel like shit here. Well, you shouldn't have to worry about sawfish. What? What the hell? What? A settlement? The third, uh, that doesn't sound good. And uh, not the civilization we to watch out for. Somehow, Charming. I don't like this welcome either. Yeah. You and I are both on the same page there, I think, for once. They stopped in that village there. Looks like somebody lives there. No kidding. How are the men doing, Demir? Stepan is the worst off. The others are not so well either. Oh, only us here are... Thank you. Ada, you and Demir reconnoitre the area. We need to find that damn bunker and hit the road as soon as we do. We might have a slight problem with hitting the road, Colonel. How do you mean? There's barely enough water in the boiler to make some tea. Oh, shit. And we're all out of coal. I see. We'll need to address that, too. Anna, Demir, one more task. Look for water and fuel. Sam, get the men ready. We need to set up defenses. Roger that. See you soon. Just try to be careful, all right? Of course. Artyom, we have to learn who those men with the car are. They do look like regular bandits, but we can't take risks here. The car was headed for the village. Looks like they have a comms relay there, and it should hold some info, which is just what we need now. Yeah, great. Move out as soon as you're ready. Crest, can your rail car pull the train? It might, but really slowly and not for too long. The engine is too weak for the weight and we, we don't have much diesel left. Well, if we had enough diesel, the Aurora wouldn't be needing any help. What? How so? Its firebox was originally designed for taking coal, but it also has high temperature lining and liquid fuel jets installed. Okay. Why didn't you say so before? Yeah. Because you never asked. <laughs> oh, he's, he's one of those. It's the injection okay. system in working order. <laughs> I would need. Well, take crest and run the checks. Well, yeah, we'll take care of it, chick chuck, no problem. But uh, that ain't giving us no diesel. Yeah. Mm, judging how the locals drive around, it will be much easier to get our hands on diesel than coal around here. Yeah, he's got a what point there. What about the water? Can't run without it, but our tanks are dry. Let's handle problems in the order of their appearance. Good idea. So, we might not need coal after all. Hi, Don't. Tom. All clear. <laughs> clear. I must admit, I'm glad not to be in the snow where you can't see see where the hell you're going. That's a nice change, I admit. So, how'd you find the premises, idiot? Looks like it used to house a ticket office and lockers. Full of garbage now. Could use some cleaning. Anything we can use? I doubt it, but there's no harm in checking, I suppose. What it's worth anyway. At least I got a bog. <laughs> Damn, the sun is saving a ball today. Yeah, no kidding. Okay, so you get to the back of the train. Idiot, you get the engine. I'll clean the place up. Then we'll bring step on. It's cooler than in the train. Yeah, it definitely would Your be. Word is law, my liege. Shall <laughs> I commence now? <laughs> Commence. <laughs> okay, I'd be off then. Look at this. I just trying too hard. Is he overheating? 
too much sun, perhaps? We're all overheating here. I'll relieve him once we get step on here. Yeah, good idea. Yeah, we'll handle that. Well, I'm off too. Look at this place. Wow. Ah, let's just wander around here. You never know, there could be scraps. Oh, hang on. Is that oh, suitcase. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah, the train's seeing better days, that's for damn sure. <laughs> Look at that for interesting patchwork. What? Look here then. Huh? What are they? This is something I finished just now. Oh. Hollowed out a couple of Tihar bullets and filled them with explosive. Ooh. Some explosive ammo right there. Oh, lovely. Now, you can do it yourself. It's quite simple. Don't forget to clean your guns regularly with all the sand around. Yeah, you got a point there. That's an interesting bog. <laughs> oh wow. Must be a collection of weapons we have. Oh, that's that other gun. They did transfer it here. Mm, Artyom. <coughs> Wait, I'm coming with you. I think I could use a little walk right that's now. That's say where you are, Stefan. Get Stop, well. But you can hardly walk. You'd better rest while it's not your shift. Well, Artyom, I really do feel kind of under the weather now. Maybe next time. Yeah, sit tight. You're right. Let Artyom Katya and take are going out for a simple recon, not a fight. And what if they get attacked? We'll deal with it. Then they'll retreat back to base where you and Sam cover them. So you should rest now. Yeah. Yes. You're right, Katya. Yeah, all right, gotcha. We'll take. <laughs> Twenty. How are we doing on supplies? How is Stepan doing? He's got a sunstroke, and he's dehydrated to boot. We should let him rest in a cool place. The boys are checking the station building now. We'll put him there once they're done. Oh, I hope they finish soon. Compass. Um. Wristband. Map for additional surviving. I'll leave that as it is. Gatling gun. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's. I won't. I don't think we'll probably upgrade that too much. Yeah, it's not going to be that useful. Uh, um. I'm still gonna stay with this workout. There's not much. I'm not using a long barrel. I can always change that. Nah. Keep the laser. Twitter, infrared. Yeah. Oh, 
punch. It's a high cost, isn't it? Um, that's... Oh, that's for the shotgun, isn't it, I think? Is that for the shotgun? I think that's it, what, what that's for. Um... Smantle... Okay, don't have enough of that. Twelve decoy. Yeah, I think we're quite. I think that's what we'll work with. What happened to the? Find out what happened to the car that's been pushing the Aurora. The car entered the village for some reason. I have to find out. I have to find those people and obtain water for the crew with the help or without it. <laughs> Sounds about right. <clears throat> so it looks like I'm going to be exploring a whole brand new area, which is actually pretty cool in that regard. Alright. Ah. Oops, did not mean to do that. Okay, we're actually going to take a break here. Um, next time we'll be doing a whole lot of exploring. So, I will catch you next time for more Metro Exodus.